Welcome to Church for Kids Lessons for Living Daily Devotional, a time for you and your family to come together to hear in a brief devotional, have a scripture together, have an activity and a prayer time together. My name is Kelly Jackson Brooks and I'm the executive pastor with Central United Methodist Church in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Today's scripture, today's lesson comes from the book of Luke and it's called The Good Samaritan and is about being a good neighbor. I'm reading today from the five-minute Bible devotionals for children. Let us hear these words. Someone asked Jesus how to get to heaven. Jesus said, you must love God and also love your neighbor. Then the man asked, but who is my neighbor? So Jesus told a story. A man was traveling alone when robbers grabbed him beat him up and stole everything he had. Then they left him lying on the side of the road. After a while, a priest came along, saw the man, but did not help him. Later, a worker from the temple came by. When he saw the man hurt, he kept right on walking. Finally, a Samaritan, a person nobody really liked, came down the road. When he saw the beaten man, he felt sorry for him. The Samaritan comforted the man. Then he left him on his donkey and took him into town. There he bought food and medicine to help the hurt man get better. Jesus asked, who was the good neighbor? The person who heard the story said it was the Samaritan because he was helpful and kind. And Jesus said, that's right you should try to be just like him. Sometimes we are not sure who our neighbors are. We do not know them by face or name, but they are all around us and come to us in so many different ways. And during this time, it's sort of hard to figure that out. Who is my neighbor? How can I be a good neighbor? But there are so many ways that you can be a neighbor to others. On your walks, you can make sure that you're picking up trash and you're waving and just giving a nice smile to the people you see around you in their homes. Also making those calls, making um, those email messages to people that you care and you love so deeply, writing letters, all of those things are ways to continue to be connected and to show people that you love and care for them. Today's activity, which I am finding again from this Faithful Families book that was recommended to me by one of you. It's such a wonderful book. Um, the activity today is about prayers at bedtime. And yesterday, I know we've been talking about creating a sacred space, how to have a Sabbath, ways to go to that sacred space to be in connection and continue to develop that relationship with your creator. And today's activity is very similar to that. It's a way to continue to be grateful and to show gratitude. Yesterday, we talked about the Gratitude Cafe. And so in the morning, when you come together with your family, you get your special drink and you sit and you talk about what you're grateful for for the day. Well, in the evening, it's very similar. So you talk about what was wonderful about that day, those places that you saw God, the places you heard God speak to you. And one way to remember this is take some fun paper. We've got lots of this at our house. Um, and cut it into a small piece or a large piece, something that you can put on your bedroom wall and not necessarily like a reward chart, although it seems a little bit like a reward chart. I want you to take a sticker every day and put that sticker on your paper and say, I am grateful for what happened today when I heard Jesus or I saw Jesus or I was reminded of creator in this way. And you put a sticker. It may be on again, a walk and you saw some beautiful flower come up. It may be a phone call you had with a grandparent or someone else that you love so dearly but it's in those moments that you see God and you are reminded of who you are in this great big world. So I'm going to leave you with those thoughts today and let us end in a word of prayer. Creator God, by all those moments, we are grateful. By the reminders that we are given, by the ways that we remind ourselves that you are with us always. 
by our neighbors, by our friends, by our family, by all of this. We are so grateful and thankful for you. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. And I will see you tomorrow.